this problem, we want to find an expression for f of x to say this domain. So we got Now see, f as a function takes a real number x, so we're starting off with x. Perform the following three steps in order given. Multiply by 2, I'm assuming is what it man, means. So 2 times x. Then add 3. So this becomes f of x equal to 2x plus 3. You always take your previous transformation, and then you you apply whatever step they're indicating, and then take the square root. So we're going to take the square root of the previous. So that'd be the square root of two x plus three. Now that's our function. Now for our domain. When we have a radical with an even index, you take what's underneath the radical and you set it greater than or equal to zero and you solve. Because you cannot have a negative number inside of a radical with an even index. Now to solve this for x, get rid of parentheses, don't have any, get rid of fractions, don't have any, get everything with an x, I say everything, I'm talking about terms, on one side, the numbers, constant terms on the other side. So I'm going to take the 3 over to the right side, becomes a negative 3. Anytime you take anything across your inequality symbol, the sign changes. Last step, divide both sides by the number in front of your x. So we divide by 2. When we do that, these 2's cancel. And we're left with x is greater than or equal to negative 3 halves. Now to write this in interval notation, we're going to have a negative 3 halves bracket on it because there's a line underneath. Line underneath means it includes that value. Comma. And since it's greater than, it's going to positive infinity. So this would be our domain.